Rent, 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 rent me podcast. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your family, tell your haters. Available on Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts, and Radio Public, and Good Pods, and Pocket Casts, and Breaker, and Stitcher. At Rec League Podcast on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. At Rec League Pod on Twitter. Episode 135. Coming soon. Yo. Whether you're watching this from Facebook, Twitter, click the link in my Instagram, or YouTube itself. What up, bro? I just watched Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. The uh, fourth movie in the rebooted continuity of the Planet of the Apes. The tenth overall Planet of the Apes movie. It, uh, it stars Owen Teague, Freya Allen, Kevin Durand, um, Eka Darville... William H. Macy, Travis Jeffrey, Peter Macon, and um, it's directed by Wes Ball. If I'm not mistaken, he's directed only the three Maze Runner movies. Some, some, some generations, we don't get a specific duration of time, just some generations after war for the planet of the apes we get a new group of of apes through the lineage they they walk they communicate they carry on what caesar started and there is a human with an agenda there are other groups Another there's another group of apes with an agenda, and our our protagonist Noah is just trying to protect his family and do what's right. Clearly, obviously, as you can see, one of my most anticipated movies of 2024. And before today, before the release of this movie, the three rebooted Rise, Dawn, War, Planet of the Apes movies were my favorite favorite modern day trilogy. And now the Dark Knight can reclaim the title of my favorite modern day trilogy because this is my favorite modern day quadrilogy. Um, like 20th Century Studios, 20th Century Fox, whatever, Fox started this franchise. Disney scrapped the Fox. Now it's 20th Century. That the 20th Century studio since 2011, like the best thing that they have done as a company since in the last 13 years is how they have handled the character of Caesar. Rupert Wyatt, Matt Reeves, Andy Serkis, whoever. Just that didn't allow studio interference. I love you. Like Caesar has just been handled so well. And this movie doesn't try to copy anything that the first three movies did. It, it, it shows love, pays respects, uses those first three movies as a guide. And it, it was just handled really, really well. I don't think that this is as good as any of those first three movies. It comes very close. Like this movie, not to slight Wes Ball, because all three of those Maze Runner movies are good. So like he, he can do his thing. But this movie feels like somebody doing a very, very good, not equal, but very, very good impression of a Matt Reeves movie. And, I mean, Cloverfield is good, Let Me In is good, but Matt Reeves, like, came into his own with Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. That's still my favorite overall Apes movie. Uh, I really like Owen Teague. I think I've only seen him in It, in 17 It. Like, he's in the sewer. He's the dude with the lighter fixation, I think. But he's he's very good as Noah in this movie. The mocap, like, I don't want to get to a point where I think anybody in Hollywood can mocap. Andy Serkis is obviously the king. Mark Ruffalo is doing a good job. Uh, we act like Judy Greer didn't do her own thing in, in two of these movies. Uh, 
Tatiana Maslany did a good job in the She-Hulk show. Um, but like everybody in this was so good. Like Owen Teague, the design of the Noah character looks a lot like Caesar to me, but I didn't catch any kind of confirmation. But it's the way the the way the, way the narrative flows. It's kind of cool because like Caesar is mentioned and Caesar is kind of, like I said, is kind of a guide for the filmmaking, but also the narrative. There are apes who have learned about Caesar and there are apes who use Caesar's teachings, I guess, rules laws as a way to kind of self manipulate and benefit off of that for like selfish gain because that's what antagonists do right and then there's noah noah and his clan i don't i don't i don't, I don't want to like potentially get into spoilers their relationship with caesar is interesting i was bef i was between a four and a four and a half and then the third act happened and like I, f I feel like the uh, the Oscar for visual effects should be signed and sealed and delivered in May. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this, and I, I don't want to give too much away. I feel like I've said too much, but I'm hyped. Like when I when I turn the can when I hit record and I start talking about movies that I think I'm probably gonna talk about in December again, I'm hype. Uh, enjoyed the performances, enjoyed the story. It like tonally doesn't feel like the other three, and I, I think that's good. Where this franchise could go is is very very interesting. I read I read how many more movies that they plan to want to try to do. And like there's always been the rumor, there's always been that rumor about this reboot series. So I want to see if by the end of their plans if they do it. Cuz that'd be cool. Um I I don't know like I'm, I'm like I said I'm very interested to see like I don't think I don't think we go another seven years without an apes movie I think it's 2024 so I think 2027 we'll get apes 5 or apes 11 I feel like if Noah is our new lead it's, it's gonna be very interesting to see how he develops and grows as a character um so yeah uh I don't know. I'm just I'm just looking forward to whatever comes next. Uh, I'm until, until they disappoint me, until they thoroughly disappoint me, I'm gonna be hyped for every sequel. So with all that being said, man, I will say that in my opinion, maybe overrating a smidge, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is almost dope as fuck. What did you think of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, man? I, uh positive negative somewhere in between let me know i uh recently put up reviews for the fall guy for justice league crisis on infinite earths part two for challengers um next weekend i hope to watch and review strangers chapter one i will more likely than not be watching and reviewing if Ryan Reynolds, Drop Dead Fred, Modernization. I'm going to forever call it that. Uh, Memorial Day weekend, Furiosa, A Mad Max Saga, Garfield, the Garfield movie. Yeah, the Garfield movie. See if uh, Chris Pratt can go two for two on voices. Regularly podcast. We're going we're gonna to do a Planet of the Apes franchise discussion but it will also be a spoiler discussion for kingdom be on the lookout for all of that man like subscribe comment find me where you find me man don't know where to find me 
watch these credits. Peace.